I spent my career studying these western landscapes and the science is pretty clear. If we don't change a few of our fire management habits, we're going to lose lots more of our beloved forest. Some won't recover in our lifetime or our kids or even our grandkids' lifetimes. Over the course of the next hour, I'm going to explain how we got into this era of megafires. And I'm going to talk about some concrete things that we can do about it. There's a fire. If you're in your house, evacuate your house. What's needed is a cultural shift from being purely reactive about fire, being primarily proactive about fire. We can recreate landscapes that can tolerate fires that are typical for the forest type, where the patchwork is restored and the landscape can self-regulate fire growth and fire severity. To get there, we're going to need lots of tools in our tool belt. Homeowners, neighborhoods, and municipalities need to get much better prepared for the wildfires that are coming. This is an example of the epidemic of trees that has occurred throughout the western United States. It's not just up to public land managers and firefighters. This is a social problem, and we need to work to get this changed. In the end, we can learn to live with wildfires in a completely different way. We simply want fires to go away, don't we? And take that pesky smoke with them. That option is not on the table.